Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are doing another vintage recipe. I'm so excited because I have a cookbook that I have not cooked out of previously in this channel or in real life, so I'm really excited. I found this at a thrift store, like I find most of my vintage cookbooks. If you like vintage cooking, uh, definitely check out the playlist. I'll leave it down below. I have done a lot of them so far from various uh, different recipe books and also a recipe book from my grandmother from the 1950s. So there's a bunch of stuff in that playlist. If you like this video, you'll definitely like that one. This one we're venturing into the 1970s and this is the first time we have done so. And I found this crock pot uh, recipe book and I just absolutely had to grab it. This is Rivals Crock Pot Cooking. More than 300 recipes, especially for the original crock pot slow cooker. And this was published in 1975. Uh, so some really interesting things in here. Um, I actually had a little bit of ground chuck that I needed to use up and I thought that for sure this book would have a recipe that included ground chuck and of course it did. I'm just trying to imagine how exciting it would be as a busy mom uh, with a job and especially in the 1970s as women were making a lot of progress in the world, being able to put a meal in a crock pot and then go to work. I love that this was invented in this time and I use my crock pot all the time and look at these crock pots. You guys, I would just die for one of these vintage crock pots. I look at the thrift store every time, but I've never found one. But anyway, I love a crock pot. That's what I'm trying to say. So the recipe I have found is for a hamburger hot pot. Um, it sounded interesting. It sounded pretty tasty. And like I said, I have some ground chuck that we get like a butcher like box, a meat bundle every month. And I have a ton of ground chuck I have to use. So we're gonna use it. We're gonna make this hamburger hot pot from 1975 and hopefully my family loves it. All right, for our hamburger hot pot recipe, we need some very simple ingredients. It calls for three medium onions. I just have one gigantic onion and one little onion and I think that equals three medium onions, right? We also have some golden mushroom soup. When I read this ingredient, I thought, oh, that's a weird old timey soup I've never heard of. It turns out it's not. It's actually a thing that exists that everybody uses and I found it very easily at the grocery store, although I had never noticed it before. We also have six medium potatoes. As far as spices, all we have is garlic powder, salt and pepper. Um, you know, a little light on the spices, but that's white people in the 70s, so, you know. It is what it is. And we also have our ground chuck. You can also use lean ground beef. And uh, we're gonna be using a pound and a half of this. All right, as far as prep work goes, we have to peel and slice our potatoes. Normally, any recipe that has a potato in it, I leave the skin on because I hate peeling potatoes. It takes a long time. And normally, even in a good mashed potato, I like the texture that the skins add, so this isn't something, if this was a recipe I was just like coming up with, I probably wouldn't peel them. But because I want to do the authentic recipe shown, I'll peel all the potatoes, I guess. All right, it doesn't really say how thin to slice them, but when I hear slice, I think, you know, more on the thin side, you know, it didn't say cube them, it said slice. So we're gonna do slices like this. Okay, now that we have all of our potatoes prepped, we're gonna go ahead and prep the onion. Man, guys, if you watch me, you know this is my least favorite thing to do in the world is cut up an onion. Gianni? I'm gonna need your help here. This is a really ripe onion. I cannot do this. All right, that's all of the real chopping that we had to do and now we're going to prep the beef. So we are just going to lightly brown the beef. Obviously it's going to be cooking in the slow cooker but we wanna just, you know, brown it off a bit. You don't have to cook it all the way through or so says the instructions. Oh 
All right, so this is definitely not cooked all the way through, but it is, you know, lightly browned. And the next thing I'm going to do is drain, drain the liquid out. All right, now that it's drained, we're going to go ahead and add our spices. Uh, we're gonna start with a quarter of a teaspoon of garlic powder. I can already tell you right now that this is going to be super under seasoned. That is the tiniest amount of garlic powder. I'm also adding two teaspoons of salt, which seems like kind of like a lot, I don't know. Maybe this recipe will surprise us, who knows. Also doing a quarter of a teaspoon of black pepper. I'm just gonna eyeball that. A quarter of a teaspoon is not a lot, so. A few of those. All right, it is time to assemble this in the slow cooker. It says to grease the slow cooker. I'm not sure what year cooking spray was introduced, but that is what I'm using. Deal with it. Okay, so we're going to put half of the potatoes and half the onions in the bottom. Just gonna like layer it kind of. Now we are going to add all the meat. Now we're going to top this with the remaining potatoes and onions. The last thing we're gonna do is with this golden mushroom soup. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Please tell me, leave me a comment down below, do you cook with golden mushroom soup? Is this like some ingredient I've been like totally sleeping on here? Because it smells really good, it's got this amazing color. It like, it smells like a mixture between like French onion and cream of mushroom. I don't know, I'm, I'm excited about this. <laughs> So we are going to mix half a cup of water in with the soup. All right, and now we're gonna pour it over the top. All right, so you can cook this recipe on low for eight to 10 hours, perfect for something you're gonna to toss together in the morning before you head to work or drop the kids off at school to have dinner waiting for you when you get home. However, it is a weekend, I'm not going anywhere, so um, I'm gonna cook mine on high, and that should only take uh, three to four hours. So we'll come back in three and we'll give it a check and see how it looks. All right, you guys, it's been just over four hours. I did take a look at three, and my potatoes like weren't quite tender enough, so I guess it would depend on like how thinly they were sliced, but for me, we had to wait the full four hours and actually it smells really good and like it smells more flavorful than I thought it would uh, given the lack of spices we put in there but like I said maybe this golden mushroom thing is something I've been sleeping on so let's have a taste test and see how this 1975 crockpot recipe holds up all right so quite liquidy I'm not sure like exactly how one enjoys this it's kind of like a soup. Not really though. I'm not not really sure. Just like what, have a bowl of it like this? I don't know. I mean, it smells really good, you guys. I'm not gonna lie. And I mean, quite hearty. A lot of meat, a lot of potatoes. I'm a meat and potatoes kind of girl, so it should be good. Okay, dear, so this recipe is called Hamburger Hot Pot, and it is from a 1970s crock pot cookbook. Okay. Oh, at least get like a little bit of everything on your... Oh, no, just going for a potato. Mm. It's totally good. The meat's like a little bit crumbly though. Like I like the flavors, but I think I would almost prefer them to be like meatballs in the sauce, do you think? Yeah. But the flavor is really good. Like I'm I'm super here for the golden mushroom soup. Mm. Like, isn't that a fun idea? 
Is it? It's not real mushroomy, but it's like real savory. I would say it could be spicier. Some hot sauce, maybe. <laughs> but it's not under season. Like I was so worried about that. I mean, it's not like super spiced, but that soup really is where the flavor comes from. Compared to some of the other vintage recipes, how is this ranking for this you? This is number one. Really? Yeah. All right. We're hitting the 1970s super strong. All right, you guys. That's it for this amazing uh, hamburger hot pot recipe. Honestly, I'm super excited now about the rest of this uh, cookbook. I haven't really got real deep into it. I just like picked that one because I had the ingredients. Uh, but now I'm like getting super excited because this is so delicious and easy and there might be a lot of other hidden gems in this book. So I can't wait to keep trying things. Again, if you want to see the playlist of some of the other retro and vintage recipes I have tried, I will leave that uh, down below. Some, all of them have been worse than this one. So there are some very interesting things we've tried uh, in those recipes. So be sure to check that out if you haven't. And yeah, uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought. Do you want more out of the Crock-Pot book? Does this need to become a regular series? Let me know. And thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.